The Public Land Subcommittee is especially important to my home state of Wyoming. In Wyoming, about 47 percent of the surface estate and 67 percent of the mineral estate is owned by the federal government. This means that decisions made in Washington have an extraordinary impact on the people of Wyoming. Um, as chairman, I will ensure that we bring scrutiny to these decisions, especially those that put federal lands in the West at a competitive disadvantage to other areas of the country uh, when it comes to energy and specifically mineral production. Uh, today, this subcommittee will examine the Bureau of Land Management's final rule on hydraulic fracturing. BLM issued its final rule on March 20, 2015. It is scheduled to take effect on June 24. I continue to believe that BLM's rule is a solution in search of a problem. Wyoming has among the strictest hydraulic fracturing regulations in the country, and these regulations already apply to federal lands within our state. In 2013, the Wyoming delegation called on Secretary Jewell to exempt Wyoming and other states from this rule. Secretary Jewell rejected this request and instead provided states with an opportunity to obtain a so-called variance from the BLM's rule. I'm interested to know how the variance process works and whether states have any interest in pursuing it. I'm also interested in understanding the larger impact that this rule and other regulations will have on oil and gas production in the West. In addition to the hydraulic fracturing rule, the Obama administration plans to issue three other major rules for oil and gas on federal lands. The administration plans to issue a new rule for natural gas venting and flaring, and also rules which would increase royalty rates. These regulations and those that the administration has already imposed have put Wyoming and the West at an even greater disadvantage to other areas of the country. According to the Energy Information Administration, federal onshore natural gas production has decreased by 22 percent since 2009. 22 percent. EIA has found that federal onshore natural gas production makes up a smaller percentage of total U.S. gas production than it has in the last 11 years. Federal onshore oil production also makes up a smaller percentage of total U.S. oil production than it has in nine years. While these numbers reflect new production on state and private lands, they also show that federal lands are becoming less competitive with state and private lands. Oil and gas production uh, provides thousands of good-paying jobs in the West. These jobs are available to individuals from all walks of life. They're jobs that can support an entire family and allow parents to send their kids to college. The people of Wyoming want these jobs, and I will fight to keep them in our state. If BLM wants to be a good neighbor to the people of Wyoming and other Western states, I think it must not only listen to their concerns, but be responsive uh, to them. Uh, Mr. Cornsey, I, I expect you to lead in that effort. 